Hey, hey YouTube, it is your girl and I am here with another Black Friday, Cyber Monday, holiday haul video. So a lot of these things, this is mostly, mostly beauty. I have not played in them. I just wanted to make sure I've done this video first and it is going to be a long one. As you can see, I have chopped up my haul videos for you guys. I'm sorry, but I didn't really partake in Black Friday hair per hair care purchases. I actually recently made those orders and then I plan on ordering things um, like New Year's sale. So I really broke it up. But the companies that I normally purchase from um, for hair care products, they normally have a holiday sale as well. So let's go ahead and get into it i have my bag ready i'm going to be opening things letting you see things as we go along so go ahead and get your snack we about to get it in oh look at my teeth okay so as you've seen from my previous videos i've been using the sonic care and the quest crest crest whitening strips and i am in love oh they are whitening up so fabulously i oh, love it so okay moving on <laughs> um i did go ahead and purchase from the tart uh friends and family um although if you are a professional makeup artist you can get a 40 percent off pro discount so i ended up getting using that during the friends and family 30 percent off sale and i got some more shape tape so now i have two mediums two light mediums and I wanted to go ahead and pick up their newest shade, which is the Light Medium Honey. So, I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it today. But I, this is after the rain. After getting up at 3 a.m. to be at work by 5 a.m. makeup. And so it's after 17 hours of wear. <laughs> so I ain't gonna go ahead and show you all of my makeup just know that I put layers on and I didn't set it with powder <laughs> but I did set it with my waterproof uh, blue marble that I got from um, CRC Love it. and then my set my brows with water just, just know that I set the heck out of my makeup but I didn't use a powder and then I can spray water all up on my face and nothing's gonna move Anywho, so this is the light medium honey and if you want me to do a different like a review this is the light medium so very similar but yet also different I would say the light medium is a shade darker than the light medium honey so I love them um from BH Cosmetics, I picked up the Nude Rose. This is a new highlighter palette. And this is this one. And he, ooh, pretty. Here is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. Very cool. And, ooh, it smells no. It smells new it smells like happiness so I will be doing a review on that also from Tarte I picked up I wanted to do um, a full face makeup tutorial using just the shape tape um, ones so I had to pick up one that I was going to use to contour with so this is in the shade rich um, they have another shade darker than this I want to say it's mahogany um, this is the Tartus Lip Paint and TBT, which is Throwback Thursday. And it is this color right here. I am just putting things away. I feel so happy. I feel so happy. I feel like Christmas. This is the BH Cosmetics Tropical Tan. Look at that packaging. It looks great and not a very dark dark color but a nice glow tan a whole bunch of shimmer very nice and very light 
I'm just putting things away. I feel so good to be able to put this stuff away. It's just been sitting here for weeks waiting for me to just open everything. I got another one in the shade Totally Tan. And you guys know, oh, this one has fall. It kind of fall out. See that on the mirror? Dang it. But anywho, so here is this one. I definitely will be doing comparisons and videos and swatches reminds me of one of those chocolate souffles from uh, Too Faced very cute there's another one in here and then this is the third shade and this one is in the shade Tranquil Tan looks like it's the one in the middle medium one very nice so these are newer bronzing powders from BH Cosmetics with purchase I was able to pick up a free travel mini brush thing so I'm going to put that in my prize drawer I'm going to be doing more giveaways they sent me a free with purchase blush to go four color blush palette <laughs> so it is going to go in my prize giveaway drawer let me get this out the way because i'm going to take all of my beauty bakery look at this here packaging and it's so cute and i am going to just load all of my beauty bakery items into here i saved the packaging for this just because i wanted to show you guys look at their new packaging it is so pretty i'm just going to put them all Put them all in there and they can have their own little cubby this is in the shade I like to chai chai lip whip oh, this one is mmm mmm a nice mauvey color this one is in surreptitious oh, love it and I actually had a miss, a miss with Beauty Bakery. They had some things that just do not work. I was upset. It just went on to my lips like gloss. This one is called Salted Caramel Mocha. And this color right here. So I'm going to put this over to the side. Where did I put all my lip? Oh, there they are. So I'm going to put all of my lip whips in this here box beautiful don't fall i got oh this is a return this is a miss um i was trying to like go on social media i was looking at people's videos you guys know my nose i am the queen of scents and nailing it on the head i didn't get a lot of people telling me like really what the hell these scents smell like just i don't know if they're trying to be nice or whatever but this is velvet teddy or velvet teddy bear this is velvet teddy shade scent from mac and uh-uh uh-uh it smells like burlap wool cotton musk and cinnamon all on top just all mixed in together those are the scents so um yeah i thought this was because you know honey and what how people was describing it to me uh-uh this is a spicy burlap wool cotton no so this one will be going back to mac that's why i left it like in <laughs> the wrapper and stuff like this and i want to hurry up and do this video so i can go ahead and do my return speaking of mac i did partake in the mariah carey collection i wasn't even feeling all the colors and stuff but baby look at how much she shellacked this glitter Let's, oh look at that so i did get this i was able to purchase doing the pro pre-sale and you know this was the hot item so this one is called my mimi extra dimension skin finish oh, 
and this is the one that I will just, I guess, leave open and I will put it in my other collection right over there. And I don't even want to like get rid of the shellac packaging. I'm just gonna put that right over there too. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Oh, this is the candy yum yum. I didn't open it. I know. Ain't no way this is gonna be a mess. Ain't no way. This one's gonna be a mess. You guys know my favorite scents. Pink sugar, sugar, you know, the sweetness of it all. Bam! Here it is. It's a sweet floral. It smells like sweet orchids. So, yeah, I can play around with it. It goes more towards the Viva La Juicy of it all, yeah, than the pink sugar of it all. So, <laughs> it's cute. It's cute enough for me to keep. So, I can just throw away that packaging. Keep digging. Ah! <laughs> I got the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. I got this from Ulta while it was on sale. I want to say th less than $30. And... Ota sent me 20% off and it was something else with it where it made it like really really cheap so I ended up picking up I don't know if I'm going to keep it I'm going to think about considering this for a giveaway because I mean I saw the colors and I just purchased something very very similar to it but I know that I needed um I needed to spend like $12 in order to become platinum at Ulta so I was like might as well so I'm gonna put this back with my other ones right there uh, let me dig deep Ooh. okay so this is the hourglass foundation I already have one this one is in the shade golden I love it that is the I'm gonna do a favorites video. I haven't done one in years, so I'm gonna do an, a year wrap up and review favorite video. And let me tell you, this is gonna be in there. This, I got the shade uh, just a touch lighter in sand. And I actually did use it. I like using golden and sand together, so golden sand. So, yes, needed both of them because this is actually my winter shade right now. So, um,. Yeah, I just needed something a little bit lighter than just plain old golden. Oh, from MAC. This is, I want to say it's the blush. Powder blush. I know it just came out um, at the stores. So I picked up the Sweet Sweet Fantasy. It just seems so small. I mean, hold on, hold on okay this has been my number one i'm going to pick up the pink one if i can if they still have it left but you guys remember the diana ross collection celebrity pink i think the pink one is like this one i loved her packaging and then now i love the mariah packaging so it is gold so i ended up getting the orange one because i have been wearing more orange tone blushes like for the past couple months and i know that i'm going to be wearing this one so um yeah put that one right in the collection but i do want to go ahead and pick up the pink one only because it reminds me of the diana ross celebrity pink one and you know you can't get that again that was limited edition i did pick up candy yum yum from mac and to match to coordinate i like the pink you know this cute gotta coordinate so um i'm going to go ahead and probably start i'm gonna take the cap off of this one and put it on my older candy yum yums and switch it off so I can always have the pink, you know, just change them. Always have the pink cap for candy yum yums. So I have, I think, two candy yum yums in my arsenal. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that intact. And then I do have something else I wanted to show you in regards to caps. Um, so, this is the other uh, MAC uh, My Mimi skin dimension or whatever don't know if i want to do a giveaway on it but i'm going to put it in my overstock area but we shall see um i did pick up one eyeshadow quad i wanted to get colors that i didn't like already purchase from black friday so i ended up getting 
the ones that was a little bit more of the brown tone brown and golden tone this is I'm that chick you like eyeshadow quad so I got these and I believe a lot of the reviews is with the other palette so if you guys want me to review this one let a girl know so um I actually don't really hold on to the quads I'm not going to depot it because the packaging is so freaking fabulous and cute. So I'm going to keep that one together. Um, I did not see a lot of reviews on the powder. I just, as soon as I saw, like, it looks, it's so bright, it's white on top of this, um, this video. Oh my God, just, just seriously? Just seriously, look, look, look there. Now you can see the shellac bling. The shellac of it all. She shellac the shit. Glitter. Damn. So um, it does come with a really small little cute puff, which I probably will not be using. I'm just going to go ahead and get into the product. And it is like a powdery shimmer. Um, I would I would use it. these are things I'm going to use um, so we'll see I, I'm, I wasn't planning on just having the Mariah's just be a collectible like I have been doing to other products I actually do want to use these they are common ones that I do want to use so really really like that I picked up some lashes from Ulta this is from the Eyelore London I wanted to get some close to my favorite wispies because I only have like two or three more pair left and eye matches in a couple weeks and I needed some lashes to hold me over. Like I'm wearing wispies today but I need some lashes to hold me over so I'm going to be playing around with these. I got these from Ulta during their sale and I got the number 117s and the number 155s. So they are very, very similar to my fabulous wispies that I pick up from um, Namie's and Nigel's every year. Oh, here's the one. My melt. I love. This is Kat Von D level-ish. This stuff from Mel, these stacks are just... Mm. So I got the... I want to say Dark Matters. Hold on, let me see if it says it. Okay, I got the Dark Matter set. Set, So it comes with the top with the, the mirror. Check out that cream. Check out this texture crease color. Check out this burgundy-ish red all over just happening glory. Check out this black that I'm going to be playing around with to see if it's the black is the black. Check out this similar to the other one that I got. This one was a standalone. That one's called Love Sick from the Lux Love Sick Rack uh, that, that I don't have. Then check out this other mirror. <laughs> then check out this right here. Look at that shimmer. So pretty. This is Harsh Stone White from the dang it gunmetal then check out this here crease color gray look at the shimmer in that grayish tone and then look at the shimmery shellac shimmer glitter in this black one love what I'm seeing love what I'm getting love what I'm playing with and welcome home like seriously like I have other melts and I gravitate towards this just like I gravitate towards my Kat Von D's. Love those. Had to jump on them. So I got more, another set of uh, 117s. So all of these will tie me over until I can get to IMATS, which is in a month. Um, I fell for it. I fell, I got these from CVS and you have to actually ask for this like like you you because they cost so much i think it's like 30 bucks the wonder two the wonder brow one step gel brow guys it works 
it really does work because I tried it but I tried it in the shade Auburn and then I had to go online and order the black brown because it didn't have black brown and it looks kind of ashy like that once you put it on it kind of like oxidizes deeper but it works however taking it off was a bitch so I got it in black brown I got it in um auburn and it took some of the hairs off of my armor with it so i need to, i'm going to pick up the clinique dissolve um stuff once i pick that up then i'll go back to wearing this because what i have on now it's set with a waterproof um brow that i get from model in a bottle so these aren't going anywhere i, I can leave them on for days but eventually i'll break out in a pimple or something because i left it on for days um, from MAC, I did pick up their strobe cream, their new strobe cream in a peachy, no, it's just pink light, and yeah, it was pretty, it's cool, it's, it's something to play around with, and they, they, they just alright, just to be honest, the cream was just alright, if you want me to do a separate review on that, please let me know, I got the TARDIS lip paint, and Frank! I got it too light. I got it and get it. It. I swear, I told my friend that this made my lips look like a vagina. So it's really, really, really light. So, um, and I'm not the liners girl. I don't really wear lip liners. So, mm, I'm going to leave it in the packaging. I'm like half to gift it. I don't know. But I did get it on that, um. 40% off sale. I got the Sacha setting powder. I've been playing around with old makeup tricks. Like I put on a spray primer, the Smashbox spray primer. Then I put on a mattifying primer. Then I put on my setting powder. Then I put on my foundation. Then I put on more setting powder. And then I set the crap out of that. And I've been playing around with those types of makeup tricks and yeah I, it's it's lasting like i said i had on this makeup for over 17 going on 18 hours now and there's no touch-ups there's there's it's just this and i was partying and i was dancing and it rained so it's just this so this didn't last me a whole long, long day so yeah i picked up um the shade buttercup however um this on this color scheme mm -hmm. No ma'am. So this is actually one for my kit. and But I did pick up the invisible or the translucent one. So I do have the translucent one too. I want to say Sacha had 50% off. So I had to jump on it. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Chip. I've already done a review on it. A swatch review. A rant or whatever you want to call it on this. It's going back to Sephora. But I just wanted to keep it for the haul video. I might just keep it just to remind me how pissed off I am. But <laughs> I should just return it and just get my little 20 some odd dollars back. Um, what is this? This looks like, oh, this was a sample somewhere so from something. The Laura Mercier Base Foundation Primer. So I'm going to try this primer using my tricks from the trade and see how... Um, I like it. And from MAC, I got the Lip, ten lip Tensity um, in the shade Doe. I don't know if these are permanent or not. And I wanted to just go ahead and get me some of the everyday colors. And so far, I haven't worn it. Like, like I haven't worn these things out. So we shall see from Mariah. Ah, uh, now this, I actually will pick up another one, just whatever's left, because I don't want to, like, I didn't pick up any of the frost. They just like, uh-uh, no. The last frost lipstick that I actually liked from MAC was from their Playboy collection. That was, like, the only frost. Um, <laughs> all the other ones is like, uh-uh. But look at that freaking shellac. Oh, my God. But I did pick up the shade um, Mechazel. So I'm going to put this one back in the packaging because if I don't get another one just to have as a keepsake, 
I'm just going to keep that one as a keepsake. But I want one as a keepsake and then want to use. And I want to use that one. Um, this is a sample. I don't even know why I'm showing samples. This is the Burberry sample something. I want to say another face base. Whatever. Let me just put this away and move on. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Chip palette. The regular one. Um, this one was okay. This was acceptable. <laughs> it was just acceptable. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one for sure. I got uh, Back to Mac. This is Deep Rooted. Just this one right here. And I'm keeping these out. I'm keeping these out for a reason. And I will show you towards a little bit later. This is Pick Me, Pick Me. I let my friends pick these um, out. You know, my friends, they, I don't work at Mac anymore, but my friends still do. So I was like, yeah, just give me whatever. Whatever you think I don't have and whatever you think that I might be able to work with. Um, so I let them pick for me. And I got Forever. Look at that purple. So pretty. And so those were all free because they were back to Mac. Um, from Mimi, Mimi Box, I did pick up their baby face pour powder that i want to play around with because it is their number one seller so it is so freaking tiny but it is the loose kind in the jar with this little sifter and everything and i want to see how if it this which is reasonably priced and korean beauty if it can compare to some of my others and again i got another setting powder because i am actually blowing through my freaking setting powders the loose ones the pressed ones i don't use too much but the loose ones i'm blowing through these babies um i got another lip tensity in medium rare and it is that one that lighter one that peakier one right there yeah, it's alright. And I got the shade, this is the browner one, Smoked Almond. Oh, I haven't even swatched that one. It looks beautiful. Yeah, that's probably the one I'm going to wear the most. That's probably the one. And from Tarte, I got another light medium. I'm going to leave that one in the box. So I don't know how to use it. From Mariah, I got... Butterfly Bling. And I was upset. Look at the bubble. Look at all the, the product that is missing from out of this baby. Look at the, look at all that bubble. Just look. Just look at all my missing product. Look. You see the wand? Like, look. Like, seriously? Look. I'm upset. I'm not... Is that a hair? Oh my god, is that a hair? Oh hell no. That's a it's a freaking hair. A hair is whipped around the wand on the in oh. Oh hell. Oh oh. Oh oh hell no. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna take it out. I'm taking it out. Oh my freaking god. It's a dog on here. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Are you fucking kidding? Sorry. I'm I'm not happy. <gasps> so I'm gonna take this to my friends and they're just gonna go ahead and just take it. Musa, I know employees. I got friends. I got friends on the inside. I'm a Musa. I'm Musa. You see me Musa. Y'all saw me Musa. Okay? You saw me Musa. Come on, Tasty Rambo. Stay in. Keep her in. Keep her in. Okay, moving on. From Ulta, I picked up the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. This is one of my favorite favorite mascaras a lot of youtube girls were ranting about it so i'm always kind of less like side eye and i'm like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, how much they pay you to say that you like that but um i actually i got it 
I want to say from like Gen Beauty or something and I actually fell in love with it and I liked it so I want an extra one of those I got another back to Mac in on and on which is a duochrome lipstick kind of weird but I think I'm gonna pair it with grape liner I think it looked really, really pretty and then I got the bestie still too light this is from Tarte the tardiest lip paint but it's better than the other one so I'm going to roll with it. I'm gonna rock with it roll with it I mean with it walk with it and <laughs> there's that um recent I think that they were having 30% off and this is from a company that I found on Instagram look lipstick holders so this cute I mean it is heavy normally I get my lipstick holders from um Lady Moss but they had the best sale it was a combo sale so you got that one and you got the lip gloss holder those two together was $27 and they also had an additional like 30% off on top of that yeah and then shipping was very reasonable it was like $10 and this stuff is heavy so I have that and also what I picked up for now I wanted to show you guys earlier what I was talking about is these I got a set of 12 you can either buy them a set of 10 12 or 24 these are the clear lipstick caps so I was like I need that because you know look at how much I ain't gonna remember you know how many Mac stuff I, I ain't gonna memorize all that and what they look like so it has the clear caps bam the clear bullet caps so all I do is I take my Mac I'll squeeze it up just to where the bottom of the lip um, reaches the line and then I put on my clear so I know exactly what shade this is and I put this baby in the holder and there you have it so I'm going to be doing that for the rest of the night and then I'm going to find a place to house these babies and I'm gonna keep them because they do break and yeah <laughs> And it looks like I got, oh, this was the reason why I even went to the freaking uh, website because I did, I ordered from e.l.f. E.l.f. isn't here yet, so yes, there is going to be another video. And I picked up their makeup sponges and I don't have a drying station for my beauty blenders. So I'm going to, you know, wet my beauty blender, use them or whatever, and then I'm going to house them here as like a drying station or just a container to hold them. The circles are kind of different. This is the big one. This is like the regular beauty blender. These are the micro minis and then these are like random ones. So yeah, I'm going to be using that up here. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this beauty haul video. But oh, and there's one more. <sighs> one more item. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some Queen B in it. So this is from Tarte. This is the Melted Matte. I'm slowly, slowly collecting them. So this is my fourth Tarte Melted Too Faced Queen Bee lipstick. So out of all of, like a lot of the formulas, I really like these formulas. It's not too aggravating on my lips. And then I did notice, you will notice every video about that, but my dose of color started to dry out and I'm upset. So, okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one because I'm still waiting for stuff to come in the mail. And I'll let you guys know how things went with my return to Mac. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.